Welcome to Grade 8 TLE. For Quarter 1, we have the ICT. For Lesson 1, we will tackle the tools and equipment in ICT and appropriate software applications for specific tasks. First, exploring tools and equipment in ICT. We have the common tools and equipment used in computer programming. First, hardware. These are the example of hardware. First, we have computer, the primary device used for writing code, running programs, and testing software. Second, the desktop or laptop, depending on the preference and requirements. Second, the software. Under software, we have the integrated development environments, comprehensive tools that provides editing, debugging, and compilation in one place. Example, we have the Visual Studio Code, Eclipse, and Xcode. We have also the code editors, alternatives to IDEs for quick coding and scripting. Examples, the notepad. Next, the version control system or the VCX. Tools to manage changes to source code over time. Examples, the Git, the subversions, and the Mercurial. We have also repositories and collaborations platforms. Examples, is the GitHub and the GitLab and the Bitbucket. Next, the compilers and interpreters, tools that translate code into executable programs. While the debuggers, tools to test and debug the code, example the GDB and the LLDB built-in debuggers in IDEs. Next, we have also the package managers, tools to manage software libraries and dependencies, build automation tools, tools to automate the process of compiling code, running tests, and deploying applications. Next, the common tools and equipment in computer system servicing. First, we have hand tools. When servicing computer, students must need tools like screwdrivers, pliers, and anti-static wristbands, and these tools help with the hardware installation, repair, and maintenance. The second one is the diagnostic software. Students can use software tools to diagnose hardware issues, check system performance, and troubleshoot problems. Next is the cable tester and multimeters. These tools help verify cable connections and measure electrical parameters. Cleaning kits. Keeping computers dust free is essential for optimal performance. Common tools and equipment in visual arts. First, we have the digital cameras and scanners. Students can capture images of their artwork or scan traditional artwork to create digital versions. For graphic design like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, or Canva, these tools allow students to manipulate images, create digital art, and design graphics. For tablets and drawing pads, artists can use these devices to create digital illustrations and paintings. For 3D modeling software like Blender, Autodesk, Maya, for students interested in 3D art and animation. Next, the telecommunication. First, we have hardware. For telecommunication under hardware, we use modems and routers that modulate and demodulate the signals for transmissions over telephone lines or cable system and route data between devices on a network. Next, we have also the switches and hubs, networking devices that connect multiple devices within a network 
facilitating communication between them is called switches and hubs. Next, we have also the repeaters and extenders. Device sets that amplify or regenerate signals to extend the range of a network. Example is signal boosters and Wi-Fi extenders. We have also antennas, devices that transmit and receive radio waves for wireless communication. Next, we have the base stations. Equipment that connects mobile devices to network and cellular and also to radio communication like for example the cell towers, the microcells, and femtocells. For software under telecommunication, we have the network management software. So for network management, tools for monitoring, managing, and troubleshooting network performance and connectivity like for example here is the solar winds and network performance monitor for communication protocols naman we have the software protocols that define rules for data exchange over a network for telephony software we have the application for managing voice communication over network so like for example, the sky for business, the free switch, and the antarist. Next, we have the types of software. First, software is a set of instructions, data, or programs used to operate computers and execute a specific task. First, we have the application software. These are the most common type of software application or software is a computer software package that performs a specific functions for a user or some cases. So these are the example of application software. We have the Google Drive, YouTube, Gmail, uh, Google Docs, and also the Mirror Firefox. Next, we have the system software. These software programs are designed to run a computer's application programs and hardware. Like for example, the iOS or the Android, the Microsoft Office, and Linux. Next, the driver software, also known as the device drivers. This software is often considered a type of system software so these are the example of driver software we have the graphic card driver the pointing devices the graphic card driver the sound devices the bluetooth the monitors the keyboard the imaging devices storage devices and also the printer drivers Next, the middleware. The term middleware describes software that mediates between application and system software or between two different kinds of application software. For programming software, computer programmers use the programming software to write a code. Programming software and programming tools enable developers to develop, write, test, and debug other software programs. How does software work? First, we have the planning, the analysis, the design, the implementation, the testing, integrations, and also the maintenance. The dimensions of software quality include the following characteristics. First, the accessibility, compatibility, efficiency, functionality, Installability, localization, maintainability, performance. We have also portability, reliability, scalability, security, testability, and usability. And these are the references. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.